What's up, your friend? It's Mitty Man coming at you from Walker's Music. With yet another word for the day. Nightcap edition. Might as well say another word for tomorrow because it's been so late, people. I, today was a very unusual day. It was one of those strange days that, that nothing happened the way it was supposed to. So I just went with the flow of everything. So therefore, I'm a little late with the word. As a matter of fact, just not getting a chance to do it. Had a webinar today with uh, Brother Khalid Glover and Raven Blair. Davis and um, good webinar and everything uh, and I must say there's a lot of great content a lot of great points we're giving in that uh, webinar so we just take our head out to our brother Khalid and to Miss Bla Miss Blair Davis in other words she's a very outstanding lady I would say to it and with a very outstanding guy brother Khalid we, we just uh, we always give the ladies the accolade you know what I'm saying so in other words uh, we we give God the glory and steal people all for life, health, and strength for as well as it is. Sometimes we don't feel the greatest people, but nevertheless, God is still sitting on the throne. And uh, he is he's, he got our lives in his hand. And we know that no one can take us out of his hand. That being said, we want to give a shout out to the YouTube family. Baby Justice, all the way up to the big Papa JT, Mama JT. Y'all know what time it is. Also to the entire Harvest Gang, Brother L.A., also to your mate. Your spouse, in other words, really appreciate what she's about to do for <clears throat> for us, man. And uh, we uh, we we want to take our hat off to you and to your wife. Also to Elder Michael McCray, to Brother PP Drawing, Brother Hardencliff, Elect Sister Seven Seven Seven. Saw the video, on point. Keep it up. Keep them coming. We need them. Sister TJ, also Linda, Leonard, to all the gang. We just saying we give y'all y'all. Wanted to say that uh, I did a little work in the studio tonight. Ain't been too long. Come out from out there and uh, trying to do some things. Uh, I want everybody to know that uh, I am thinking about re reworking some things and uh, I want everybody to bear with old Mitty Man. Uh, got a lot of things on his plate. All good, all good. But nevertheless, we got to learn to. We got to make certain that everything is organized and we don't want to get in a rut because you get too many things going, nothing will get done. So we don't want to become unproductive by having too much to do. So nevertheless, we need to get things and our middle man's got to get some things in order. We got to get some things on on automatic, I would say. And uh, we, got, we got a little surprise coming up. I want everybody to keep your eyes and ears open for that surprise. Uh, you know, I told everyone around by Resurrection Sunday to look for look for something else coming from Walker's music. So that's all I'm gonna say about that right about now. Uh, I am gonna have some things that I'm gonna try to do for some people. I'm gonna have a little a little surprises for some people and uh, some little goodies. But nevertheless, we it's all about kingdom building, people, and we're about trying to bring an usher into. The kingdom of God. We also like to say that we are to our newfound friend, uh, music man out there in Arizona. I don't know what city, but I'm just going to say Arizona and be safe. Uh, I believe you said Phoenix, but uh, if if I'm not, if I'm if I'm wrong, I apologize. But we we go glad to have you on board. Uh, brother music man is one of uh, I think he's a he's one of JT's uh, proteges. In other words, uh, as he learned me through T JT. And we like to give JT the credit and the honor for at least uh, gearing another soul my way. And uh, because of the fact it's all about helping out each other. And uh, we had a blog talk radio show that now man, Music Man was on there. And he was he came on with us and uh, we, we had a good time. And we're going to do some more of them. We're going to do, a, matter of fact, there's a lot of more stuff we're going to try to do and get done in and around Mew Walker's music here. We're not just going to be just an independent label. Uh, where we just go out there and record music and that's it. We're gonna we're gonna try to touch on a whole lot of things, spirituality, spiritual things. Matter of fact, I'm thinking about doing a series of of uh, recordings. Uh, whereas I'm, I'm gonna call them uh, they're gonna be inspirational and everything, but it's healing and soothing and with the word of God in the spirit with music. I'm thinking about doing some of those things and make them available in every way to anyone that would, that would, would need them or want them. I'm going to try to get all that done. And so, like I said, it's all about helping out. 
I am my brother's keeper, in other words. And I want to say a few things here tonight on, uh, I want to come back from the 37th Psalm, and I'm not going to get the scripture, I'm not going to get the Bible tonight, but I just want everybody to remember what the 37th Psalm basically is saying. David was saying, fret not yourself because of evil doers, neither be thy envious of the workers of iniquity for she, they shall soon be cut off. I've done many videos about that subject. And I'm not going to repeat it by going over some thing that is redundant. But I'm going to say this much. When it comes to evil and wrongdoing people, what David is saying, he looked at the wicked. And he seen, it seemed as though the wicked prosper. But let me tell y'all something. The wicked doesn't prosper. And the wicked doesn't prosper. The, there is a penalty that they pay. And going to pay. And will pay. In other words... Our elder brother Jesus, he came on the cross. He took on all our sins. Matter of fact, Jesus took the wrath of God upon himself. The wrath of God was upon his son. That wrath should have been you. It should have been me. But nevertheless, Jesus took that wrath. The wrath of God came upon him for the sins of mankind. But now people, why would we want to go and get the same wrath again? Jesus already bore that wrath. Why would you want it again? People, we must accept the finished work. Hear me now. Finished work. That he didn't leave anything undone. So ain't nothing else. You got to go and get cute and add and do something. You're going to mess up. The finished work of Jesus. The finished work of Jesus makes me and you right with God. So with that being said, I just want everybody to know and just concentrate and think and meditate on that fact. There is nothing that we need do any more other than take up our cross daily and follow him. Simple as that. But me the man, I say I, I, I messed up. Okay, get up. You messed up, so get up. Go to him, pray about it, and go on. Nothing you can do to earn salvation. Salvation is a gift. You accept it. You receive it. And then you pick up your cross daily and you follow Christ. Do what he say and you'll be all right. Me the man, how do I do what he say? What do it say in the word? Do the word. And then you'll be doing what he say. Jesus said, how can they say to me, Lord, Lord, and you don't do what I say? Do what Jesus say, and you'll be all right. Me the man, but I thought you got to be perfect. Do what Jesus say, and you'll be all right. Me the man, I thought I needed to go to church and pay 10% and this and that. Do what Jesus say, and you'll be all right. But me the man, I, I, I told a lot last week, and I might tell one next week. Do what Jesus say. And you'll be all right. Need I say any more? This is Mitty Man saying whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God is not in it, it's best that you come out of it. This is Mitty Man saying peace. Goodbye.